hi friends welcome to GT coding in this video we are going to create this web page so this is uh, entirely created using flexbox so when we increase the size of our browser we can see that the width of these divisions change according to the size of the window and when we decrease the size of the window to a certain level for example here we can see everything changes and the uh, alignment of the divisions change and uh, we can see everything is uh, displayed vertically so this is all done using flexbox so I have a project open over here and I have an index.html file and a style.css so first of all we will complete the html file so we will create a basic html file document and we will name it uh, welcome to GT coding you can see we have the title over here so let's get started by building the markup so first of all we need to have a container for holding everything so we will create a division and call it container and inside that we need to have two di different sections so this is an aside and uh, this is a section so we have to create these two uh, different elements inside our container so let's create an aside with a class name of left sidebar and uh, after that we'll create a section with a class name of content so these are the two things that we need inside our container and inside our site we will type hi welcome to our website you can start by creating an account and inside our section we need to have some more divisions so this is a division and we will call it login screen so we'll create that so I'll create a division named login screen and in that we will have a division for our logo and one for this content so we will create a division inside our login screen called uh, logo and then another division called main so this is our basic markup and now we will type in the content inside our logo we will have a logo image so we will create an img tag so inside the img folder I have an image called logo.png so here we will type img logo.png and here we will uh, just type gt coding logo so that's it with the image and uh, then we will have a heading and we will call it GT coding and then inside our main we will have an h2 and uh, we will just type this text over here just copy it and after that we will have uh, an h4 and we will just copy this text and then we will have a form and in that we will have an input of type text and then we will have a button and we will have it a class name of button continue and we will type continue after that we will have a paragraph in that we will just copy this text and uh, we have these two uh, links over here so for that we will just have a temporary link so we can see everything is 
uh, being displayed correctly then at last we need to have one more paragraph and we we'll just copy this text and here also we have a link so href so now we are finished with our markup so we can see our markup is completed now we'll go to our css and do the styling first of all we will link our css style.css and in our css first of all we will have some basic resetting so box sizing uh, should be set to border box and set the margin and padding to zero first of all we will decrease the size of our logo so that we can see everything clearly so width of our logo should be 100 pixels and margin bottom of 8 pixels now in our body tag we will have a font family of roboto sans serif and uh, line height of 1.5 m and then we will have the color for our anchor tag set to black i will set the h2 and uh, set the font size to 20 pixels now for our paragraph we will set the margin to 8 pixels 0 pixels and for our h4 we will set the font weight to normal and the container should be set to display flex so we can see it is already uh, being displayed so by default the flex direction is raw and if you have not watched my previous video on flexbox you should watch it and it will give you a basic understanding of flexbox so by default the flex direction is raw so we can see this is the first division and this is the second division so we really wanted uh, the direction to be in row so we'll keep it as it is now in our left sidebar we will do some styling so we will set the color to f1 e d e e and uh, background color to 305467 We'll set the font weight to bold and uh, padding of 16 pixels and height of a uh, hundred viewport height and text align it to the center now we want this to be centered uh, correctly so we will use flexbox so we'll just type display flex align I align items to center and justify content to center so it is centered over here now we will go to our content and here we will uh, set the background color to 333533 so if we see in our original web page we have uh, this width uh, a lot less than uh, this the width of this division so for that uh, we will use a keyword called uh, flex so flex is basically a shorthand for writing flex grow flex shrink and flex basis so if you just write flex and give a value all the three uh, properties will be set intelligently so we will just give it a value of 0 0.7 and for our content we will give a flex value of 2 so if this has a width of 2 then this will be having a width of um, 0 0.7 so now we will also have a flex box for uh, this division so we will display flex and align items to the center 
and justify content to the center now we'll style our login screen so we'll type login screen and give it a width of 90 percent and display flex so this is our login screen and it is set to display flex so we can see that flex direction row has been set now we will style the logo so we will set the color to f1 e d e e and the padding of 8 pixels we will also make it display flex and align items to the center and justify content to the center but we don't want uh, this to be displayed in a horizontal way we can see that it is one above the other so we have to change the flex direction to column so now it is displaying correctly now in our main section we will give it a flex value of 1.5 and for our logo we will give a flex value of 1 here we will text align everything to the center we will also have a padding of 8 pixels and a background color of f4f000 and we will also make this flex and uh, flex direction of column and align items to the center justify content to the center I think uh, the color is uh, different okay now it is correct for our logo we have a black color so we'll set the background color to black now we have to do some styling for our h2 because we have this uh, line over here so for that we will use a pseudo selector called after so here we will type main h2 colon colon after and inside this we will say display block content blank so we have to specify this content we don't have anything to write so we'll just uh, leave it blank and we will give a background color of uh, RGB 49 45 45 and uh, We'll give it a height of 2 pixels and width of 64 pixels and opacity of 0.7 and margin 0 auto and we can see we have this line over here this is basically um, this basically has a height of 2 pixels and a width of 64 pixels as we specified here now we will style the form so main form set the margin to 16 pixels 0 pixels and the width to 90 percent now we will set uh, now we will style the input so we will set the width to 100 percent and the border to 1 pixel solid RGB 199999 and a height of 32 pixels now we'll style the button so main dot BT and continue we'll have a height of 32 pixels and a width of 90 percent background color of 0075 c4 and border to none we'll set the color to white text transform to uppercase margin bottom to 16 pixels and cursor to pointer so when we hover over this we have this 
cursor turning to a pointer icon we'll also set a uh, hover style so btn continue colon hover when we hover we will just change the background color so rgb 8 142 231 so that is working and now we'll style the paragraph in our main division so we will set the font size to 14 pixels so we just have one thing to do that is we have to set a margin over here so we will set a top and bottom margin to our this style over here so we'll change this margin to 16 pixels so now we have everything as we needed now the last thing that we need to do is uh, style our media queries so media queries are used to style what should happen when we have different uh, screen sizes so it is basically used to make our web page responsive so I'll just type media and max width to 550 pixels and for our container we will set the flex direction to column and the height to 100 viewport height so when we are lesser than 550 pixels this is what should happen to the container so I'll just decrease the size of this window for now so here we can see uh, our main container has a flex direction of column and in our login screen we need to have a flex direction of column as well so this is having a flex direction of column and this logo should be down uh, here so for that we will set the order to 2 so we can see now the logo has uh, shifted down so now we will set the flex direction to row and justify content to space between and the color of the text to white now if we see here we can we can see that uh, the image is a lot smaller so we will style our image logo image and we'll set the height to 50 pixels and the width to 50 pixels now we'll set uh, the style of our left sidebar and set a flex of 0 0.3 we can see that the height of this division has changed now the last thing that we need to do is style our h1 and we'll set a font size of 16 pixels so this is our h1 and uh, we'll set a font weight of 500 so this is everything that we needed to do to create this um, responsive flexbox uh, web page so this is how you can use flexbox and uh, it becomes easy for you to create responsive web pages using Flexbox. You don't have to deal with all the floats and all those things. You can directly do it using Flexbox and it is a lot easier than all the other methods. So I hope that you have understood how we created this web page and uh, feel free to create your own different layouts uh, by looking at different websites and try to uh, create layouts like them uh, using flexbox and you will gain better understanding about flexbox i hope that you have understood everything in this video and if you have any doubts you can ask them in the comments below and please click on the like button if you like this video and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day